There he is. There he is. There he is, baby. Of this morning the wind is picked up a little bit it's been pretty dead the last couple days so hopefully it's still pretty flat in the gulf stream and we can go and run get some mahi mahi but um if it's not we're gonna stay on the reef's edge uh, and do a little bit of fishing there for maybe some mutton snapper kingfish i don't know whatever else bites so i'm it's one of those days where i don't have I know exactly what i want to take um, but so we're gonna take some of these deep rods I have these are 8500 uh, slammers uh, just in case we're going to drift the bottom I usually use these things um, I'm going to bring some 6500s I already have mahi hooks on there some J hooks I got a black and purple squid rig I got my famous you can see that thing that thing's caught some fish the one ounce it's either one ounce or three quarters um, bucktail jig that thing is solid Bringing that guy, I'm gonna bring some a vertical jig rod, and then we're also gonna bring the deep drop rod just in case. But I think we're taking about six rods today, plus the deep drop rod. Who knows? That's kind of what happens sometimes when you have an end. You're kind of indecisive on what we're gonna catch, but either way, plan is to catch some fish. So we're gonna get the rods in. We're gonna get the ice. I'm gonna bring some squid in case we do some deep dropping. I do have some bait in the pen already, so we're going to use that, but we're also going to go out and head out and see if we can get some more pilchards. Uh, but let me grab, I'm going to, but I'm going to grab all these rods and then get my coffee because I got to, I got to wake up my eyes. Yeah, I got to wake up a bit, but we'll see you guys in a few and hopefully with the boats loaded and out there in the water. But we'll see you guys in a few minutes after we get the boat loaded and we're headed out into the bay. Hopefully go catch some fish. To go catch some fish, not hopefully. We're gonna catch some fish. So see you guys in a minute. We got it. We got it. We definitely have what you call bait. An overload. A frickin' bait. <laughs> uh. It's just blowing up everywhere. Look at that. Whew. There's some serious bait. Whew. Lighten up. I gotta open the other well. I'm gonna kill them all. Whew. There are pilchards everywhere, and they are so thick. I have pilchards all over the boat. They are dead everywhere, filled in the net. We're gonna well this. We're gonna do one more toss here. See if we can get some. There are no fishermen. I don't know, we must have closed the pier down. Sorry, Rugrats. Um, I have about a thousand baits so far. Let's, let's load up and get 2,000. They're just sitting. Yes, this is just um. <laughs> uh, where do I throw? Wherever you want to throw. Let's try to get some big ones. You can already see him. Holy macaroni. <laughs> Did 
gentlemen. It's like fishing in a barrel. Oh, God, this one's heavy. Whew. Where's this one? Tuna, tuna in season. My God. damn pier right. oh, there they go oh no it popped the net open <laughs> that's all right Good. whipping a little bit from the south today but I mean we are we are blacked out ladies and gentlemen we got a ton of bait we could have we could have took every well for every boat that wanted to go fishing today there was so much bait out there but um I'm gonna run out the wind is coming from the south probably about like eight miles an hour ten miles an hour so it's enough that in on the reef it's a little rough but with the Gulf Stream it may flatten out a bit so we're gonna run out I'm gonna see if we can get into some mahi uh, and then not we'll circle on back and hit the reef but we're gonna head on out of here little flyers all right guys Let's gentlemen go. you know exactly what time it is tower time flattening out because we're getting out in the gulf stream a bit For you guys who don't know, because the Gulf Stream's coming from the Gulf Stream's coming from the south, the wind is coming from the south, so it'll lay down real nice. That's why you can see it's getting flat out here. So let's go find them mahi, baby. All right, gentlemen, found some weed lines. There's a decent one right here. This one's, I'm feeling mahi on this baby. Come on, come on, is there bait? Come on, mahi. I see some bait coming on over. See a bunch of fish behind the boat. Oh, there they are. There they are. There he is. There he is. There he is, baby. Woo -hoo -hoo. I knew it. Oh, these are good ones. Woo! There's there's multiples. There's multiples. This is it, boys. This is it. Woo -hoo -hoo. There's some nice ones. Let's get some, let's get some live baits, some chummers. There he goes. See them all. All right. It's bait time. I see him right there. There he goes. That was that easy. He swallowed it. Oh. Let him take it for a sec. There he goes. Now I got it. <laughs> yeah. nice one 
we're gonna we're gonna do a little flipperoo right in the box, baby. Oh! There he goes. It's not in my food. All right, let's get a couple more in here. Ah, oh, there's a couple more mahi out there. Where the hell did you go? Ugh. Threw too many baits out. Another one. Another one in the box. Damn it. There it goes. That was a bull right there, boys. Okay. Let's go. All right. Let's go put a couple more in, baby. There's definitely mahi all around that. All right. Finally, we found a couple. There's a big one down there, but we're gonna we're not gonna skip a weed patch. You never know what's on any weed patch. Come on, mahi, 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 mahi. There's not much bait on here, but there's a big patch down there. Oh, there he goes, there he goes. Mahi, 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 mahi. Well, they're not that big. Ah, they're not eating this. They're not eating it. They don't want the, they don't want it. This is what a lot of bait makes sense. Come on. They come back. They come back. There he is. Got him. Got him. Got him, baby. Woo! Ah, uh, he's a little guy. Little guy. Let's, there was a bigger one in there. There he goes. Got him. There he is over there. Oh, yeah. There he is. Woohoo! Oh, yeah, he's a keeper. Let's pop the box, baby. You know the deal. Launch them! Ah! <laughs> Let's go. No! In the box. All right. Let's go. There's a big weed patch over there. There's a monster weed patch over there. There has to be mahi on this son of a gun. 
thing is way too big. Oh! Ah! It's a jack. Jacks are here. Mine are a hundred percent here somewhere. God, there's so many jacks. Oh, there they are. There they are. I just saw him. I just saw him pop out of the water. Oh, there he is. There he is. Got me. I got him. Woo -hoo -hoo. He was too. He was small, anyways. He was a little guy. Uh oh, boys. I see the rain coming. No! Oh no. It's like thunder. Whoa. Let's see if anything else pops up. If not, we're out. Well, I had a good spot. I got chased out because of the rain. There is a storm here, there. And then that one's bad. That one's getting dark. We cleared up back at home. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna make our way back in. We got a couple of mahi. We saw a ton, but there were a lot of shorts. We did get some keepers. Um, that's three. That's enough. I'm gonna try to hit maybe one wreck uh, and see if there's some tuna on it. If there's tuna on it, um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try to put one in the boat. I could go for some sushi, but if not, either way, it was a good day. It was a lot of fun dodging the storms. It's that time of the year. Um, you just hope that you can get out here early enough to catch some fish and get out before the day's end. And so, I got, a, I got so much bait in the wells. My goodness. All right, guys. Let's head on back. Well, you guys can hear that one. The, the weather, the amount of thunderstorms today is just freaking nuts. I wasn't going to get caught in any of these things, but... Um, we ended up stopping at a wreck on the way home and then FWC came up to check my fish. All was good. Um, but uh, they were saying too there's a lot of everything that everyone was catching is like 20 inches um, or less, you know. But uh, it's been a little bit small so far this summer. Hopefully they pick up and get a little bit bigger. But um, I have a ton of pilchards. I mean, this that is a four by four by four and it is blacked out. Um, so hopefully they make it. I'm gonna try to nurse them up so that they're they're strong. Got all the boat cleaned off right now. Um, I actually got my fish there. I'm just gonna flay them now, get them in some bags, uh, and go from there. So I did get this new knife. Uh, this is by Sword. 
Now, since all you guys who were watching my, not my stories, but were watching my, um, watching my reel and giving me crap on that Amberjack reel, um, that thing hit like a million and a half views and everyone was just dogging me for my knife, but um, that was a bubble blade. This is a sword uh, blade, it's carbon fiber. I used this thing last time in my last video. I mean, super sharp, super strong. This handle this is like super professional. It does not feel cheap at all, um, but you know, got this one, I'm gonna start using it. I did put it in the link below. Uh, if you guys do wanna grab it, um, you can just click right there and get it. I uh, definitely recommend recommend it i've used bubble blades some of the kuda knives and all that and this one's this one's pretty solid so we're gonna flay up these mahi uh, get them in a bag get them in the fridge and then maybe cook them up today if not we're gonna do it probably tomorrow so um let's go all right let's flay this puppy up you guys can see this knife is so much so much sharper <laughs> so i just grabbed the skin off of here and tear them off and then we're just gonna run this down as back there run it down its stomach get this knife kind of under there and then there you go there's a mahi filet super super easy makes it way easier when the knife's sharp this is a bowl um, it's not a big bowl but I could have cut into the head meat a little bit but honestly it's it's so minuscule and end up cutting it off anyways so these ones are way easier it's way easier to cut them there we go holy pilchards look at all the these are, these are probably all my pilchards but pop the eyes out let them sink. Put them in a bag. Put them in a bag, put them in the fridge, and then cook these puppies up later. Here we go. We're all done. Let's clean this baby up. And then we'll see you guys in the kitchen. Well, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're in the kitchen. Um, I don't know why I do that weird voice, but uh, what I'm actually going to do... Uh, a recipe or close to a recipe that I had uh, at Key Largo Fisheries. This is the Cuban mahi sandwich. It was freaking great. Um, so we got our we got our mahi from the other day. I put a little bit of this, this Key West seafood seasoning. It tastes kind of like a blackened seasoning, but we got our Cuban bread from Publix. Um, our mahi's already covered. I'm heating the pan up here, and we're gonna do um, heat this baby up. And then we're gonna put a little bit of oil in the pan here. They're nice and hot. We'll blacken the mahi. And then I got what you need. You need some ham. You need some cheese. I did provolone. I don't know if that's right or not. Some mustard and some pickles. So we're gonna I'm gonna heat this up, and then I'm going to cut the bread up and actually smash it down a bit on the pan. Try to make like a panini style thing and then get all this kind of together. And then it is gonna be fantastic. So it's all in here. It's cooking. That'll be too too small of a pan for all this mahi, but we'll get it in. I don't feel like cooking it multiple times. Oh look at that. Perfect fit. Alright. Alright. One, we're gonna make a nice sandwich right there. Look at the size of that hog. There. I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna cut her right down the middle there. Whew! All right, this is cooking up, and we're gonna butter our bread. We're gonna oil our biscuits, because we don't have any butter. We're gonna oil these, and we're gonna get them in the pan after, kind of smash them down there okay. you guys that see all the crap everywhere and trying to finish my house because I'm selling it soon and I'm gonna move down to the Keys probably in like Key Largo or Tavernier um, primarily I would like Tavernier but we will see uh, kind of how it works out and how long it takes to sell this house but if anyone knows anyone who wants 
to buy a house in Miami for sale, so it's gonna be for sale. So DM me, let me know. But until then, let's make this mahi sandwich. Kind of blacken both sides there. And then we're gonna turn the heat down a bit. All right, wait till this is done and then we'll get our bread on there and it's almost sandwich time. I'll let this end go to waste either. Might as well make a little sliver ham sandwich while we're waiting here. Oh yeah. Fantastic. I think we have about enough to make a sandwich in there. Oh well. Alright. Let's take these off of here. I'm gonna wipe this pan off a bit. Take some of that crud. Fish crud. Let's put a little oil again. And then we are gonna throw these down. And just kind of smash them in. Let them cook up. Real nice. Need like a panini press. All right, so we're gonna let this get real hot and then just kind of smashing this bread down like that. And then we're about sandwich ready. All right, so they're starting to brown a bit. I'm not gonna overcook them. Just make sure smash down. This is the most Polish Cuban sandwich you'll ever have. I'll let that baby cook for a second there. So let's do this. So we got, now we've got our bottom bread. We're gonna, we are going to, actually we're gonna make this really unhealthy. I'm gonna do a slice of cheese. There we go. On the bottom, we're gonna mahi it up. Look at that. Take some nice pieces there. And then we are gonna ham. Ham like so. We're gonna cheese again. A little bit of mustard. A little bit of, oh man, I don't have fork. Whew, pickles. Yeah. All right, a few pickles here. Check this out. Oh, I love pickles. Oh yeah. Top of the sandwich. And would you look at that? Oh my goodness. Let's slice it right down the middle. Make it look real good. And then, oh baby, baby. This, this could end up being one of my favorite recipes. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Whew, let's see if it tastes as good as it looks. Probably could have cooked the bread a little bit more or made it more buttery than oil, but. Oh yeah. If I was gonna open up, that was freaking good. If I was gonna open up a restaurant, which I'm never opening a restaurant, I would add that sandwich. But my God, that is freaking awesome. I would've cooked the bread a little bit more. For anyone Cuban out there, I really screwed it up, sorry. But this thing tastes really good. Oh man, that, that is solid. That's one, that's on the top. It's on my top list for best best catch and cooks i'd highly recommend it so um thanks so much for watching guys more fishing and boating videos on the way this is blue water life